going on up here, including scientific research, and it would be hard to pick just one, but I can tell you uh, about some of the ones that we're working on right now that we just started looking at the bone cells that live inside of mice and looking at how they change as a result of being in gravity for a long time. So just looking at their cells and seeing what effects that the absence of gravity if it causes them to, re to behave any differently so that we can understand how our bodies respond, how human bodies respond to the loss, the absence of gravity and how that will affect our bones. Well, it would be very dangerous. It would be one of the more serious things that we could imagine. We certainly wouldn't want to have a fire, but we do actually study how flames burn in a special special containers. We actually have a special project up here that looks at exactly that because fire does burn differently because we don't have uh, in, uh, in space without uh, convection, which we have on, uh, have on Earth as a result of uh, hot air tending to rise, we don't have that uh, up here in space unless we add uh, if we add ventilation to it, so it actually burns different, differently, and we, uh, that's something that scientists are actually interested in learning about. Well, if you're talking about how does the International Space Station uh, avoid uh, running into things, we have a really big control team on the ground that makes sure that the orbit of the International Space Station does not run us into anything we wouldn't want to because there are other satellites and spacecraft up here in orbit around the Earth, and so that's something of, obviously that we would be very concerned about. We did mention, uh, I already mentioned that we think fire would be very, very dangerous on board the space station. We also worry about having a leak of our air uh, overboard if there was a puncture in the, uh, the International Space Station somewhere. And then uh, we also worry about the leakage of hazardous materials because some of the things that we work with up here are potentially hazardous and we wouldn't want that to leak inside the space station. But the way that we deal with that is we train for it all the time. In fact, earlier today, my crewmates and I were practicing emergency scenarios um, just like we did on the ground before we launched up here. We would practice it all the time. Well, I mentioned one of the experiments um, that we were doing with the mouse cells. Uh, so that one is biological in nature, but and I also mentioned another one um, that, where we're looking at burnings, burning, how things burn, and that's uh, a subject called materials science. Um, but we also have some medical projects up here where the astronauts are, uh, we actually serve as the subject ourselves. It, If it was 
we were out on a spacewalk and somebody's suit broke, then uh, our first priority would be to get them back inside the airlock and repressurize them and get them back inside the International Space Station. The spacesuits that we currently use are very reliable, though, and we do know how to fix them, and there are some repairs, some simple repairs that we can do even when we're out on a spacewalk. away from my family, uh, because even though, while it does often look like in the pictures uh, and videos of us that we're always having a good time, we do actually miss our families too. It doesn't make it any easier to be away from my family. I'm married and I have four kids, and in fact, uh, some of my kids are about your age. Well, because we're up here and not in contact with other people, we kind of live in an enclosed environment here, and so nobody gets the flu and nobody gets cold, so it's kind of nice. I'm not looking forward to that when I come back to Earth. Well, in fact, we have had more than six people on the space station during my time up here. I've been up here for seven months now, and I'm about two months into my mission, we had a period of time where we had nine people on board the International Space Station, and we, there have been as many as 12 or even 13 in the past on the space station for a brief periods of time. But the space station was built around having only room for six people, six or seven people for a long period of time.